Welcome into RedRaiders.com. I'm Krista Pertle here at the Creighton Baseball Field. This is part of your Raiders Storm Omaha Grand Slam coverage brought to you by RaiderDocsAutoGroup.com, a proud supporter of Tech Athletics for more than 13 years. Now, Texas Tech just had a really light batting practice, and that's probably because it is scorching hot out here. The pitchers didn't, too much, didn't do much. Davis Martin ran a couple laps after he, he pitched seven innings yesterday, a great seven innings as he gave up only three hits and no runs against the overall number one seed Florida Gators. Now, Texas Tech, a lot has been made about them watering the, the tree this season, about how they're going to keep on growing, keep getting better day by day, how they celebrate their doubles, putting the seeds in the ground, watering it, and watching it grow throughout the bowl, throughout the dugout. Excuse me, But Coastal Carolina Tech's opponent at 7 p.m. on Thursday has its own unique little something for this postseason. After a loss at Georgia Tech, these guys purchased a stuffed monkey at a gas station, named him Rafiki, and since then they are 19-3 and on the season. So while Tech is watering the tree, Coastal Carolina is going to be playing for Rafiki, which makes for a pretty fun storyline. On the mound, we're not quite sure who's going to go for Texas Tech. Um, there's suspicions about who's going to go for Coastal Carolina. That guy has a 4.07 ERA, but really the ERAs aren't that big a deal this time in the postseason because if you looked at last week you had Erickson Landing go whose ERA was at least five and the dude threw shutout baseball through seven innings so that was a big deal for Texas Tech. If you look at the Red Raiders pitching staff as a whole right now they haven't used too much. Gingery and Davis Martin will not be available but you look at Hayden Howard has also thrown quite a few pitches so he might not be called on from the bullpen but that's okay. Ryan Mosley is still available. Parker Mashinsky hasn't thrown at all. Um, Robert Duggar can come back. Ryan Shutter hadn't done anything either. So there are still plenty of options in that bullpen along with Ty Harpino, Ty Dameron. I think that's all of them. Dalton Brown, Jake Patterson. So see, there are plenty of guys left for Texas Tech. Now offensively, the bats, they had good contact on the balls. Eric Gutierrez definitely had great contact on that two-run home run, but Texas Tech is going to need to get that offense rolling against a Chanticleer team who is very offensive, but in different ways. Yes, they have 94 home runs on the season, but they also have 70 sacrifice bunts that over half of those, once they advance to second, over half of those guys have gone on to score. So Texas Tech pitchers cannot leave any balls hanging in the middle of that zone or else their history. So watch for the deep ball by the Chanticleers as well as their speed. That's going to be huge. Those are just little bitty breakdowns. It's getting really hot out here, so you're going to go over to LubbockOnline.com and RedRaiders.com. Check out all the stories, all the coverage, slideshows, videos, previews, anything and everything you need on Texas Tech baseball this postseason. It's there, and we'll see you next time.